If you're a web developer and you've liked working on sidebars before, I don't know which planet you're from. But Shatsian has made it a whole lot more easier to work with sidebars with his new and latest sidebar component. He announced about this a week back and I've been excited for this ever since. For people who don't know what Shatsian UI is, it's a component library which makes it way more easier to work on design systems. And it's uh, a little bit different from something like Bootstrap or Chakra UI or Ant Design in a lot of ways. And I've talked about it before in my videos. So if you want to know more about Shatsian UI, check it out in the links in the description. But here we are to talk about sidebars. I haven't tried this component before and I'll be trying the here, this here right now and setting it up from scratch and see how it works out. So, I was actually going through this and I, I, I'm actually very impressed with the component structure this has because I was actually wondering how he's going to try to make it easier to use because most of his components are very intuitive to use and very easy to set up and it's actually very interesting because so we go over here, there's a main sidebar, uh, main component, there's a sidebar header, a sidebar content which can have multiple groups and a sidebar footer which is sticky. I won't go too much into detail about this uh, because you can go through them and check it out uh, in detail. But we're going to try to set it up from scratch and see how long it takes. So I'm going to go to my terminal. I'm zoomed in like crazy. Uh, I'm going to create a new um, next application. Actually, yep, that one. Let's create a Shatsian uh, sidebar. I'm going to click on yes on most of these and no on the last one. Go into this and then open this on cursor. Okay. So first of all, I'm going to uh, init chat scene. I'm going to click on New York. I'm going to use slate and uh, make sure you're using CSS variables for theming because it makes it be easier to actually theme the sidebar as well. That's what I read in the documentation. And then what you want to do is add sidebar. This adds the most basic sidebar which is there. Okay, there's a sidebar provider which needs to wrap the content. So we're going to go to app slash layout, go over here. I'm going to wrap this and let's import this from sidebar. Uh, this, okay. So, so let's wrap the children inside a main component and let's have an app sidebar and we'll have the sidebar trigger over here. The trigger is I think just a button this button over here which you can see this button is the sidebar trigger and you just place it in main so that it's just on top uh, on the top left uh, let's create this app sidebar so I'm going to go over here inside components I'm going to create an app sidebar.tsx export default function app sidebar I'm going to actually copy paste this code over here oh app dash sidebar so let's use that I guess and paste that over here. We let's import that from app dot sidebar. Let's go back. Oh, I didn't try. It. I didn't run the server yet. So we're gonna run the server. And oh, we already have a sidebar which collapses and opens. That's pretty interesting uh, setup already. So let me just go over what components this has. This has the sidebar, this has the header, the content, the group, the con the groups are inside this. And I think you can wrap multiple things in here. So let's just see what this is doing. Okay, let me copy paste the sidebar which is there. Oh, damn, that's very, very quick. So let's just see this. There's like one group, which is the application. What's that? Uh, which is the application label is there uh, there's a group content and inside there there's a menu which has each menu item as one now the menu item can have a menu button which is this whole button and this over here um, that's very interesting uh, yeah that was very quick actually let me actually try this let me change this to dark check out dark mode over here 
that's very nice that is very nice i love this already um oh by the way very interesting let me uh, i'm gonna click on command p i don't have key, uh, key cast on to actually show my keyboard but if i click uh, type command b that is way too cool that is way too cool uh, because i tried setting this up in a sidebar a few days ago uh, at helicon uh, and i had to set this up and i was going through uh, different use effect hooks uh, setting up keyboard handlers the fact that this comes out of the box now is very very nice and i really like this you can actually customize the sidebar keyboard shortcut as well you can change the side which is which it is coming out of you can change the variant it could be sidebar it could also be floating instead let me actually try floating oh nice yeah so the difference is that it's on top over here before if i looked at this over here this was actually sticking to the end. I, I love floating actually. What was the other one? Insert. Let's try insert as well. Oh, insert's like... Uh, it, it doesn't have like a background color, I think. So it's just on top of this. That's also very nice. I like it. I like it. I like floating a lot. Let's keep... Um, yeah, let's remove this for now. I'm going to check out the other things too. You can make it collapsible in different ways. If you change collapsible to icon, this is what it does. I think that's very nice. I think that's very nice. You can change the variance, you can change collapsible, that's what we saw. Oh, there's a use sidebar hook as well. That's very nice because more often than not, components like these would have use cases where uh, we need that kind of programmatic control over that and that it's very cool that this actually has it out of the box. Um, there's also the, uh, one for mobile, which is very nice. You can set a sidebar header as well. That's very cool. Let's copy paste this thing. Uh, I think on top of this, right? And you're going to have to... Okay, you will have to install the drop-down menu. Drop-down menu. And import these components. From here, let me just change that to... Sorry about that background noise. I can't do much about it. It's a mini fridge in my room. But, okay. So it has a header and you can uh, say if you have an uh, application where people can switch between organizations. This is very cool. That's something really nice. You can also set the sidebar photo. Let me add this photo below the content. Over here. Okay, we need to import that. We need to import user 2 and chevron up. up. Okay. Ooh, nice, 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 nice. Uh, let me add a bit more, like copy paste this, just to show what I'm talking about again. Okay. I save that. And when I go over here, right, this is sticky, by the way. And this is scrollable. I think that's very nice. Uh, it's hard to do these things by yourself because CSS can take a toll on you at times. Uh, so this is very nice that it does that. The top and the bottom are sticky by default. Uh, sidebar content, sidebar groups. Uh, you can create a section and create different groups. That's what we have here. This is one group. You can uh, have different groups as well. Uh, and you can make a particular group collapsible as well by uh, wrapping it outside a collapsible uh, by like this. Um, yeah, there's a lot of things like this. You can go over these separate things. But here's what I was very um, impressed with. If you go to the blocks page and you go over these ones, there are a lot of blocks here you can use. You know, something like uh, this is, I guess, uh, this is almost like Notion. 
um you can have the sidebar on the right sidebar in a dialog um sidebar with the calendar is very nice sidebar this is almost like vs code this is again like notion this is like an email client very nice uh secondary navigation oh sec oh nice 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 i i like that that you can have like multiple navigations like this and the thing with that you can actually go over here click on this go back paste this over here any of the sidebars you want and uh just yes through everything to overwrite and go back you already have this you had to change nothing and actually if you look at the app sidebar now it has a data by default you can actually change these and you can get set up in no time i'm actually very impressed by how little time it takes uh, more than anything uh, i think design wise uh, sidebars can be created very easily uh, not very easily it's uh, annoying to work with but the most impressive part about this is in my opinion the time it takes to actually set it up so that was it for this video i wanted to keep it short and sweet uh, and just talk about the sidebar component and i hope you uh, like the component and you want, uh, want to check it out uh, if you want to know about chat scene i, uh, I have uh, the videos the previous videos on chat scene ui library i link below so if you want to go check it out and keep watching and uh, like share and subscribe and peace